The sky over northwestern Turkey looked calm on 20th of November 2025, but the test unfolding above Chorlu was anything but ordinary. In less than two hours, Turkey's jet-powered unmanned fighter, the Bayraktar Kizilelma, demonstrated a capability that only a handful of nations have ever approached. Using its indigenous Murad Isa radar, the drone detected and tracked a Turkish Air Force F-16 and executed a simulated beyond-visual-range kill with the Gökdoğan missile. There was no explosion, no real missile streaking across the sky, but the significance was unmistakable. An unmanned combat aircraft had just performed a fighter-level engagement using a completely national radar-to-missile kill chain. For Turkey, this was more than a technological milestone. It was a clear signal that autonomous air combat is no longer theoretical. It is now an operational reality. The test began at the Akin Sea Flight Training and Test Center in Chorlu, where Turkey's new unmanned jet fighter, the Bayraktar Kizilelma, took off for a routine-looking flight. But this mission was anything except routine. The aircraft climbed to around 4,500 meters and flew alongside Turkish Air Force F-16s, creating the perfect environment to test how an unmanned fighter behaves around manned jets. The key moment of the test came when the Kizilelma used its own ISA radar to spot an F-16 from about 48 kilometers away. For most people, that simply means this. The drone saw the F-16 from far enough away to matter in real combat. This is important because long-range detection is what allows modern fighters to engage enemies before they even come into visual contact. Once the Kizilelma identified the F-16, it locked onto it and kept tracking it steadily. This part is more difficult than it sounds. Fighter jets move fast, turn sharply and constantly change altitude. But the drone's radar handled the movement smoothly, showing that it can keep eyes on a fast, agile aircraft. After establishing a clean track, the Kizilelma sent the target information directly to the Gukdoan air-to-air missile mounted under its wing. The missile wasn't actually fired. Instead, the engagement was electronically simulated, and the drone scored a direct hit on the target while maintaining formation. The onboard computers calculated the missile's flight path, the distance to the F-16, and the likely outcome. The result of the simulation was a successful hit, in simple terms, if the missile had been fired for real, it would have struck the target. What makes this even more impressive is that while doing all this, detecting, tracking, calculating, and simulating the kill, the Kisilelma never broke formation with the F-16s. It flew smoothly and steadily, proving it can work side-by-side -side with human pilots without creating risk. For Turkey, this demonstration shows that the Kisilelma isn't just another drone. It is an unmanned aircraft capable of performing tasks normally handled only by experienced fighter pilots. Detecting a fighter, tracking it, and simulating a long-range missile shot are not simple achievements. They are the core of modern air combat. And the fact that the entire kill chain, from radar detection to missile simulation, was done using fully Turkish-built systems makes the event even more significant. To understand the significance of Kizilelma, it's necessary to look at the evolution of Turkish unmanned combat technology. Baykar Technologies, already renowned for the Bayraktar TB2, initially focused on reconnaissance and tactical ground strikes. The TB2 became famous worldwide for its precision strike capabilities, but its role was limited to battlefield intelligence and surface targets. Kizilelma, however, represents a generational leap. For the first time, a Turkish UAV enters the domain of air-to-air -air combat, equipped to challenge manned fighters and integrate seamlessly into formations. Kizilelma is a low-observable turbofan-powered jet capable of carrier operations. With a maximum takeoff weight of 8.5 tons, a payload capacity of 1.5 tons, a combat radius of around 500 nautical miles, and a top speed near Mach 0.9. The aircraft is equipped with Acel Sans Murad 100A ASA radar, capable of multi-target tracking, rapid electronic scanning, and resistance to electronic countermeasures. Alongside this, the Toygun Electro-Optical Targeting System EOTES, provides multispectral sensing, precision weapon queuing, 
and enhance situational awareness while maintaining stealth characteristics. Kizilelma integrates Turkey's Gökdoğan Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air missile, developed under Tubatok Sage's Gök2 program. The missile is comparable to the AM120 Amram, featuring a solid-fuel rocket motor, active radar seeker, range exceeding 65 kilometers, and lock-on after-launch capability with mid-course updates via data link. In this test, the missile was captive, but fully integrated into the radar and data link chain, validating the UCAV's capability to autonomously guide national air-to-air -air weapons in operational scenarios. This integration demonstrates a fully functional system of systems, combining airframe, radar, avionics, and missile into a cohesive autonomous combat package, capable of executing the roles traditionally assigned to manned fighters. Kizilelma is designed for autonomy, survivability, and strategic impact. Its core capabilities include autonomous targeting, allowing it to detect and track aerial threats independently and engage with BVR missiles. It can operate in tandem with manned fighters, acting as a force multiplier in formations. Its AESA radar and avionics provide resilience against electronic warfare, while the low observable airframe reduces radar cross-section, improving survivability in contested environments. Operational flexibility is also a major strength as Kizilelma is capable of formation flying, independent patrols, and complex combat maneuvers with high precision. These capabilities position Kizilelma as a game-changer in modern air combat, bridging the gap between conventional manned fighters and fully autonomous unmanned systems. When compared with Australia's MQ-28 Ghost Bat, Several distinctions become clear. His Alelma is jet-powered and approaches Mach 0.9, while the MQ-28 is subsonic, prioritizing endurance and stealth. In terms of weapons, Kizilelma integrates BVR missiles and can execute autonomous engagements, whereas MQ-28 primarily augments manned aircraft, with autonomous functions still developing. Sensor and radar capabilities also differ. Kizilelma's Murad. ESA radar allows independent detection, tracking, and engagement, while the MQ-28 relies on cooperative targeting from manned platforms. Strategically, Kizilelma is designed to achieve air superiority independently, whereas MQ-28 focuses on force multiplication and support. In essence, Kizilelma pursues aggressive unmanned dominance, while MQ-28 emphasizes a supportive, augmentative approach. Until now, that's all for today, and thanks for watching.